on Jordan Free's amazing. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're having a great time out there, hope you're all looking after yourselves both mentally and physically and you keep pushing those barriers, you keep pushing those boundaries and you're on target for your goals in 2024 and you keep laying the foundations, you keep growing and excelling and hitting your targets and also please do check out the Shoe Dog Podcast with me and the bro 808 Kicks 80 we'll talk about sneaker drama, sneaker news, sneaker bad behaviour because we always take that to sneaker court of public opinion and also please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to me, let's have a conversation, let's break it down because today we're going to break down a Another Jordan 3 and this time it is, hey presto, shabang, this is the Jordan 3 Craft. So as you can see from the B-roll guys, we're talking about the Jordan 3 Craft today, another craft variation, which is released from the Jordan brand and Nike brand. We're talking about handcrafted ones. We're talking about Jordan 2 Crafts, Jordan 3 Crafts, which we're talking about today. Jordan 4, obviously that's been another range of the actual craft range. And we had a couple of Jordan 5s, even though the Bordeaux variation wasn't basically a craft variation or labeled as a craft variation, but it's got the same material blockings as the first craft variation. So that's what I regard that craft variation or craft wannabe variation variation but we're talking about the Jordan 3 today I will do a video to compare all the craft variations I've got in my rotation and I'll give you my opinion on them and I'll break them down but today we're looking at the Jordan 3 craft and it's such a magnificent sneaker because it's got iterations of different different variations of different like collaborations which come to the sneaker but we'll talk about the sneaker before we do let's take a look at the box because hey presto shabang and as you can see guys this is the Jordan 3 box and normally with the Jordan 3 box you've got like one quart of it with cement print which is the cement print that you get on the actual sneaker as well as you can see you've got that nike and jump man which is actually on the back tab which is actually comes from the denim jordan 3 which is basically a translucent actual tab with the nike in the actual underneath the translucent and the jump man on top of it which actually brings to this actual box as you can see most of this box is white and cement print or more of a pale vanilla colorway on this box as well and also on top of that in the box you get normal tissue paper as you can see nothing special about it no stamps or no codes or anything like that but this is what the code looks like this is what the box code looks like and this is how it should be guys and also as you can see guys this is what the box label looks like it reads air jordan 3 retro craft because it's a craft variation this is basically the color code is ivory gray mist cream and i think that mist cream is mainly on the actual upper which is represented on this box and also the code on this is fj9479100 and basically it's a uk10 which is my size so watch to the end for the on feet and a us11 and an eu45 so basically this is what the box label looks like that's how it should be that's how it should come make sure it comes like this guys because this is absolutely epic guys now we've seen the box let's take a look at the sneaker it's sneaker time so hey presto shabang and as you can see guys this is the jordan free craft and as you can see from the sneaker itself mainly on the upper you've got this mist cream vanilla colorway which is absolutely on the upper and as you can see the material on this actual leather or this pleather if you want to call this because most of this isn't real leather and we know about the jordan ones which are releasing which are about 900 pounds which is pure italian leather this is not it guys but basically as you can see the tumbled look on this leather absolutely looks dope this is soft this feels a bit like the balvin freeze it does feel like the balvin freeze the quality is just a bit tinier i would say it's slightly less than the balvin freeze but this is such a great great material on the upper as you can see more of that gray elephant print or more that photon gray elephant print on this but as you can see for this craft variation so it, because it's a craft they always do something different but with this craft variation you've got this underlay panel which absolutely oversees the actual elephant print and i thought this gray paneling was going to be reflective like the handcrafted one which is not which is a bit disappointing but guys it's still dope it's still dope it looks like it's an extended elephant print and you've got this same thing on the back elephant print as you can see guys you've got more of this gray basically underlay that overlays the overlay on this elephant print that's a complex way to say it but guys that's what it does and as you can see from the back you've got a denim three vibe to this and obviously the 
Balvin free vibe to this as well because you've got that translucent basically tab at the back with the Jumpman on it and underneath you can see the Nike Air swoosh on this as well. Absolutely dope, absolutely fantastic. And because it's a craft variation, it gave you a Sakai vibe to this as well because you've got that double Jumpman, you've got that peach Jumpman and you've got that absolutely dope grey Jumpman on this as well. Dope, dope look to this, dope flex to this. I don't think a lot of people will like that but this is still a dope look to this sneaker. Basically, the black tab and the outsole looks peachy, clear, peachy, translucent. Absolutely fantastic the way they actually did this. And most of that peach comes onto the actual Jumpman there as well. That's what the representation is. And obviously on the eye holes or lace holes here as well, where you've got that paneling. But you also get that grey print there as well. The grey, like basically material that doesn't belong there. That's the only thing I don't like about this. If this was not there, this would be dope. Absolutely dope. I might, I won't cut it. I'll first think about cutting it but i won't cut it but that's absolutely not more of that peachy vibe comes on the upper eyelets as you can see or uh lace holes there as you can see where the plastic is but most of this is predominantly white and predominantly mist cream vanilla and as you can see more of that vanilla look comes onto the actual midsole more of that really really light vanilla look comes onto that midsole and then it just basically comes around and hits the back panel of this actual midsole absolutely dope absolutely fantastic i hate when they lace the sneakers like this guys that's absolutely horrendous nike and jordan brand don't lace the sneakers too tightly because it doesn't look great to be honest when it actually comes in hand but inside you get tissue paper as you can see and also you get this great insole and this is a dream insole insole this is a bit more thinner Jordan 3s are comfortable so you don't need a thick insole to this and obviously you've got more of that grey tone to this insole as well more of this felt feel to this insole very very thin very thin dream sole insole I'm surprised that it's three, like kind of thin but you've got that Jumpman on this as well dope 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 look to this actual insole as well giving you that grey felt to this and the inner linings to this basically or the sock lining to this is all grey it reminds me of Photon grey on the outsole as you can see guys you've got more grey tabs on the toe and the Jordan on the mid actual outsole is basically a gray color texture so so dope so unique so different so absolutely great craft is doing it but craft is not very popular with a lot of people guys because obviously the jordan fives even though they went they actually still didn't do well i would say the most popular colorway is basically being the jordan 4 but this craft variation is still dope. It takes a bit of that Balvin, it takes a bit of that Amamania and kind of brings it to the sneaker. And I think Jordan Brand is licensed or allowed to do that because it's their own sneaker anyway. But guys, look at the tumbled on that sneaker. Absolutely fire, guys. This is a dope sneaker. This is a dope variation. And there's, the, there's something about white Jordan 3 that always, always, always does it, guys. And look at that bubble, guys. Look at that gray bubble unit inside absolutely dope i can see the camera through the unit absolutely fire clear and crystal clear super super dope but right, i'm gonna say one thing guys you got to be careful when you get these just make sure you do a quality check because as you can see some of the paint on this is still that like, kind of flimsy and not really finished to perfection but the gray elephant print is absolutely fire guys this is a dope sneaker i'm gonna give this a four ghost out of five and remember guys you still get the peaks on these as well you got peak there and you got peak at the top there as well so four out of five decent sneaker absolutely dope i think the resale is hovering just above retail at this moment in time this sneaker was like 200 pounds i think or 190 one or two i can't remember how much i bought it but i actually had to go to the resale market to get this because this actually sold out quite quickly i don't know what it is with the craft first variations because they kind of sell out or they seem to be semi-limited so they're quite hard to get but yeah super dope super fire super amazing sneaker and like i do on this channel i'm gonna give you that front perspective i'm gonna give you that booty action back perspective with that jump man and the nike swoosh on the back the lateral side that medial side and that beautiful outsole giving you that 360 degree rotation make sure it's on your feet make sure you hit the streets and make sure you come correct with the heat bang bang and bang guys absolutely dope absolutely fire absolutely amazing sneaker such a good sneaker to have on feet and watch out to the end when i do the on feet guys because obviously this is my pair my pairs always go on my feet but yes jordan free croft let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about the sneaker let me know if you like it or you love it or you hate it well, let me just know what you think about it because i still think that's a dope variation jordan threes have been absolutely dropping left right and center last year they're going to continue this year there's going to be a lot more variations hopefully coming out and we've just hit the iceberg with the jordan free phase at the moment because we're going to see a lot more jordan threes come out over the next couple of years and it's going to be saturated just like the jordan ones were just like the jordan fours were and just like the jordan threes are going to be like you saw 
last year. But absolutely dope sneaker, absolutely amazing. Like I said, four guts out of five. I you can't get better than a craft variation than that Jordan 3. Absolutely dope. Love it to bits. And I'm glad I've got this in my rotation. So wait to the end for the on feet and guys. Pick up the sneakers you want because you all deserve to get the sneakers you like. But like I do on this channel, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for always coming back. And thank you for always showing love and support. But like I say, at the end of the reviews, hope you have an amazing week, amazing month, and an amazing year. And I hope you guys caught the sneakers you like because you all deserve to get the sneakers you want from me, TJ. I love Kit Customs. Peace out for now, guys. And peace. I just discovered Crown Ice Coffee. Kind of turned up in her right now. You know what I'm saying? I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof. I just throw up the deuce. I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof. I just sit by to the booth, the chosen one like Luke I spread my wings, I'm still in love like truth I ran myself full circle like hoops Bobbing, weaving through the traffic like coops Underrated on the pavement like some high-tech boots Take my aim at the game and I shoot Mr. Target by a measure, now I do it for pleasure Ain't no rush, I can pop off at my leisure It ain't on me, boys in me, so I won't lose my clever Plus I'm straight, I ain't hurting for cheddar That's an old school reference, got a real shit preference I come at you with deference. I ain't studying you stepping. I don't care what you reppin'. I'm west side to the death end. I'm a town, ain't no guessing. Nothing more, nothing less. Ain't gon' ask for no blessing. I come through with the wrecking. I'm low key, no suspecting. You won't notice no weapon. I'm wide awake, you been slapping. I unsended the message. If I do miss some betting, it's on me, bring that check in. Boy, I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof. I just throw up the deuce. I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof.